More than 1.3 million Georgians voted by absentee ballot during the general election in November. Now, some Peach State Republicans want to get rid of at will absentee voting. Sarah Hammond talked with state Democrats and Republicans who have very different opinions on the proposal. Georgia Senate Republicans are calling for some election reforms, like getting rid of these absentee ballot boxes, requiring IDs for absentee voting, and getting rid of at-will absentee ballots, meaning you can't request an absentee ballot just because you want one. Georgia saw a record high number of absentee ballot requests in 2020, as many people opted to vote from home as COVID-19 cases continued to rise. And Democratic State Senator David Lucas says he strongly opposes the idea of getting rid of at-will absentee voting. Who has nothing but voter suppression all over? They have come up with all kinds of things because people are voting. They are worried about these two Senate seats because Georgians are voting. Lucas says he'll do everything he can to stop these changes from passing. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight in the Georgia legislature uh, trying to put these reforms in. And we're not going to sit back and, and tolerate it. But Republicans like State Representative Dale Washburn says it needs to be done. But I want to move away from this idea that it's just an alternative way to vote. Uh, voting for me is a great privilege and a great responsibility. And I don't think it's unreasonable to ask able-bodied people to come out to the polls. He says absentee ballots should be reserved for students, military members, and people with disabilities. There is no question that there is there's too much opportunity for fraud with mail-in ballots. Washburn hasn't cited any specific examples of fraud, and Georgia state election officials have dismissed reports of widespread fraud in the November election. Both men agree that moving forward, it is vital for people to have trust in the election process. In Macon, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News.